I've got some freestanding posters in No Man's Sky, but let's have a look at this Wayward Cube. First thing we're going to do, we're going to pick a scalable item and of course scale it up. Select the Wayward Cube. Use the Cache Glitch by hitting Triangle and Square on the PlayStation at the same time. Copy the scaled item and then hit Triangle and R2 at the same time. You'll have the scaled item. But that suck on the bottom is quite annoying. So let's copy it and place it on the ledge underneath. Now that looks a lot better. Right, let's get on to the free standing posters. You have to select a poster from this row up here. Place it on the ground, scale it up. Oh, and the rotation is quite important as well. Now we can select a poster from the bottom. And as you can see, it's freestanding. But you also notice the angle is dependent on the one underneath. Take your time, lining it all up, making sure it's the right distance from the ground. And because you scaled the one on the ground big enough, you can actually attach other posters to the side. But there's a downside to the scaled bottom poster. It creates a bubble too big, meaning there's going to be a gap between the front and the back. So let's place some posters at the back. On a side note, while I'm placing these posters, this will be really good for false walls and hidden rooms. To fill in the gap between the two sets of posters, we can put them on the sides. Once you've placed your posters, it's best to make a save before attempting to delete the one on the ground. As you can see, I'm positioning my camera in such a fashion that only the ground one appears, making it safe to delete. There you have some lovely freestanding posters, but I've got more to come. For the poster you have to place in the floor, it has to come from this roll. Don't scale it up this time so we have a smaller clash bubble, but do remember to rotate it so you've got it at the right angle. Now we can select a poster from the bottom row, but this time place it off centre. I know it's a bit fiddly and you'll be tempted to put it in the middle, don't. Make sure it stays off centre. Once you've placed it, take note of the bottom poster, paying close attention to where the bottom corner touches the bottom poster, as you use that as a reference point for when you're placing the poster at the back. And the reason I got you to place the posters off centre so it's to make it as easy as possible to delete the one on the ground. And there you have a freestanding poster that doesn't turn invisible as you rotate your camera around it. And there's no gap between them neither. Okay, the last one. Scale a poster from that row again. Pick a poster from the bottom row. Doesn't matter how you place it this time. Just scale it up, position it, maybe a bit higher off the ground. I'm going to select a wall flag. You can try something else if you wish. Once items placed, carefully delete the posters. And there you have a freestanding wall item. And there's probably a lot of other items you could use as well. And all the poster techniques, no glitches involved. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.